Hi, Michelle here with strawberry.com and today we have another palette full pack box to open and show you what's in it and then I'm gonna try to make something with it. For those of you who are new to my channel, I'm a crafter, not an artist. This is an artist box, so I never know how to use the things that are in there. If you wanna get real instructions on how to do this, maybe find someone else on the internet, but if you're interested in watching me trudge my way through, then you're in the right place. Okay, so let's open this up and see what we have. We get yellow shreds today. Okay. Ah, we've got two polka um, markers, or not polka, Posca markers in blue and brown. I've used the white in the past crafting and they're great. We have Yono. It looks like they are acrylic markers. We have a little mini canvas. It's a three by three. We have a little um, flat canvas. Looks like a five by seven, I think. We have a sticker. And, ooh, a black pad. Black paper. Okay, so that should be fun. Let me think for a few minutes and then I will come back and I will try to create something with all of this. Hello, um, I'm back. I did a little sample of all of the colors and so you can see them here. Um, the white, the black, the blue, the green, the yellow, and the red are part of the YONO, which stands for you only need one. And then the light blue and the brown are the Posca markers. As a crafter, I have used acrylic markers before, so I feel pretty comfortable um, this month with this art box more than I have in, in other months. So I'm just going to try to kind of sketch out a cute little design with some lettering. Today is actually Good Friday when I'm filming this, so I thought an Easter design would be appropriate. And I'm just gonna play with these colors. I don't know if these are the best colors for my Easter design since, you know, they're kind of bright. Now what I have noticed is while they're damp and you try to go over them, it kind of picks it up a little bit. But if you wait until they're dry and you kind of go over them, then you're okay. But like coloring right now, if I go over something that's just, I just went over, it kind of starts to pick it up and flake a little bit. So right now, as I'm kind of going back over some of my down strokes, it, it almost seems to be pulling up a little bit on the things that I've already done. Just trying to get a little bit of, you know, dimension in my lettering here. By going over my down strokes a second time, a little thicker. Doing some faux calligraphy. Doing my downstrokes here after it's a little bit more dry seems to work a lot better than when it's still just a, a little wet.
using the black paper I think is really fun um, to create some artwork since that's not necessarily the norm all the time. And you can do some lettering styles. You can draw some pictures, paint some pictures with these markers. Um, of course, you've got the canvases too that, where you could add things on. And um, I think this is just a really fun set. I think this is a quick and easy one to be able to use straight out of the box, even if you don't have a lot of talent like me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, tell your friends, and have a super awesome day. Toodles!